here we go you can see a lot of dotted line there which means we have no reach in basically uh, the car is cold soaked we parked it here Friday night um, it's not Sunday afternoon hasn't been driven um, it hasn't been charged it charged up until uh, Saturday morning by 7 it was fully charged so we got the snowflake there no big deal a lot of people worry about this all you need to think about at this point is that you have less regeneration than you usually would because of that uh, on the other hand we have no power limitation whatsoever we can get full power so that snowflake is pretty common around here um, we can park during the day and it will cool off to such temperatures that uh, we get a blue snowflake so we want to look at the resets that you can do and the one reset that you may have to do is while driving um, things can go wrong anywhere on the touchscreen uh, the car could act weird uh, some functions may not be working um, one that I commonly experience is as you can see I have no LTE um, because we're not in a coverage area out here there's no coverage whatsoever it takes a few miles till we get down to uh, the interstate and we'll have coverage there but it will not always connect some days it does some days it don't um, unfortunately there's currently no fix that is part of the firmware the way it is and for some reason they have not released the fix for that yet so I have to do a reset quite frequently you may have to do a reset for any kind of other reasons um, so if you have functions that don't work you just reset your car so I'm gonna do it here rather than driving all the way down to the interstate because it's quite a few miles um, and uh, <coughs> the reset super simple you do it while driving you don't have to slow down you don't have to stop if you're in autopilot that's fine your autopilot will keep working all the functions are there you can use your turn signals you can accelerate decelerate you can brake there is no risk uh, doing a reset while driving um, your screen will go blank dark and you won't be able to see the speed that's about the only thing so but that said you can do this anytime while driving and it's simple as the two scroll wheels here on your steering wheel you gotta depress those you gotta press and hold until the screen goes dark black and then the Tesla T logo shows up which this will take quite a while um, but in order to do a full reset you gotta wait until the Tesla T logo shows up before you let go of the scroll wheels otherwise you may not reset all the components in the car and you may still have issues so that said we'll do this here while driving in the snow on a curvy road we're gonna get our thumbs on there press down um, and then it will take a second the screen goes black now we're off I'm still holding I'm still pressing both scroll wheels down and you can do that we can still steer you can use your turn signal the turn signal will function you will not hear the indicator uh, you won't see it obviously but everything functions um, in regards to driving a car you can use your wipers that will still work you could shift into neutral you could shift into reverse all these functions are there you just don't see them there's the Tesla T now I let go and it takes a few more seconds and then this will come back on there we go navigation comes back on um, some of the components take another minute or so to power up after a reset like the LTE after the screen comes back on it usually takes one more minute 
for the modem to completely reset so it could be another minute before everything has reset and is going properly but this is the reset you do while driving like I said there's nothing to worry about whatsoever the car drives totally normal also don't freak out if your screen happens to go blank without you doing out nothing so some people experience that screen went blank and people freak out there's no reason to freak out you can not keep driving and if your screen goes blank well what do you do simple as pressing your two scroll wheels and do a reset um, while driving um, it's usually not that hard to keep the speed you follow the other cars people are afraid oh I can't see my speedometer um, you may be on autopilot so autopilot would take care of your speed um, if not you just follow the other cars it's as simple as that so no reason to freak out so simple reset this is the very basic reset that you can do at any time you can be driving you can be parked um, this is the simplest reset you can do well we'll go back home and we'll look at the second option for a reset